you two amazing spellers from all over Bangladesh. We have started the quarterfinals of the fourth season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, enlightened by Summit, brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Flow. I'm Rumana Malik Munmun, along with our official pronouncer, Mrs. Zunad Jabbani, welcoming you to today's quarterfinal. Viewers, we are going to have eight quarterfinals. From there, we are looking for 16 semifinalists. And I can assure you, today we are going to have another exciting quarterfinal round. Now, let's get introduced to our four quarterfinalists. At first, we have Zari Faiman, Nobu student of ABC International School representing Narayan Ganj. Welcome. <laughs> After that, we have Lamia Mahzabin, student of Fenny Girls Cadet College representing Fenny. Next, we have Fahmit Fayyaz Chaudhuri, Scholars Home Silet student and representing Silet. <laughs> and our last contestant for today's episode, Noshadul Islam Tamim, student of Cantonment English School and College, representing Chittagong. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to see four spellers from outside Dhaka. Welcome once again. <laughs> it's time to start our first round, which is Spell It. All right, you all know the rules. Just to recap, you'll be asked five words to spell. Within 20 seconds, we'll have to start the spelling. We'll give you the English meaning. You can ask for Bangla meaning as well as the parts of speech. Now, the points for each word is going to be 15. That means in total, you can earn 75 points from the first round. All right, take your time, be confident, and I'm sure you are a wonderful speller. So we'll start with you, Zarif. All the best. Zarif, the first word is... Adulterate, adulterate, and it means to make food or drink less pure by adding another substance to it. The word is adulterate. A, D, U, L, T, E, R, A, T, E, adulterate. That is correct. Very carefully spelled and a good start. The second word is naphthalene, naphthalene, and it means White crystals used in mothballs. The word is naphthalin. N A P H T H A L E N E. Naphthalin. That is correct. Two on two. The third word is protein, alternately pronounced as protein. The word is protein or protein, and it means versatile or able to take on many forms. The word is protein. P R O T A E A N. Protein. Close but incorrect. The correct spelling is P R O T E A N. Protein or protein. Uh, that's all right. Two more words left. Good luck. The fourth word is obloquy. Obloquy. And it means strong public condemnation. The word is obloquy. O B L O Q U Y. Obloquy. That is correct. Beautiful. 15 more points. The last word is bilhartsia. 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 And it means a chronic disease caused by infestation with blood flukes. The word is Bilhertzia. B I L H E R T Z I A. Bilhertzia. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is B I L H A R Z I A. Bilhertzia. But very well played. 45 points from this round. <laughs> Moving on, we have Lamia ready to go. Good luck. Lamia, the first word is. Affluence. Affluence, and it means the state of having a great deal of money or wealth. The word is affluence. Affluence. Affluence is the word. A F F L U E N C E. Affluence. That is correct. Good start. 15 points. The second word is brewum. Brewum, and it means a horse drawn carriage. The word is brewum. Brewum. B R O U G H A M. Bruam? That is correct. Two on two. The third word is 
Raillery. Raillery and it means friendly jokes about a person. The word is raillery. Raillery is the word. R-A-I-L-L-E-R-Y, raillery. That is correct. Whoa, whoa. you just got it. You guessed it, right? Yes. Oh, good job. The fourth word is okwa. Okwa, and it means a yellowish brown pigment. The word is okwa. O-C-H-R-E, okra. That is correct. Beautiful. The final word is gilimot. Gilimot, and it means a black and white bird that lives near the sea. The word is gilimot. G-U-I-L-L-I-M-O-T, gilimot. Very, very close, but that is incorrect. The correct spelling is G-U-I-L-L-E-M-O-T, gilimot. But a fantastic job done. 60 points from this round. <laughs> Moving on, we have Fahmid. Ready to go. Yep. All the best. Fahmid, the first word is popper. Popper, and it means very poor person. The word is popper. P-H-O-P-P-E-R, popper. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is P-A-U-P-E-R, popper. That's all right. Four more words left. Okay, relax and go for the next one. Good luck. The second word is monocle. Monocle. And it means single eyeglass kept in position by the muscles of the eye. The word is monocle. Monocle. Monocle is the word. M-O-N-O-C-L-E, monocle. That is correct. 15 points. All right. The third word is bastinado. Bastinado. And it means punishment in which the soles of the feet are beaten with a stick. Bastinado. Bastinado. B A S T I N A I D O. Bastinado. You came very close, but that is incorrect. The correct spelling is B A S T I N A D O. Bastinado. You have tried well. Two more words left. Go for it, okay? Relax. The next word is jete. Jete. And it means a type of leaping movement in ballet. The word is jete. 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 G E T T A I. Jete. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is J E T E. Jete. Okay. Let's move on to the final word. Take your time. All the best. The final word is bouillabaisse. Bouillabaisse, and it means a spicy soup from southern France. The word is bouillabaisse. Bouillabaisse. B U O Y A B A I S E. Bouillabaisse. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is. B-O-U-I-L-L-A-B-A-I-S-S-E, bouillabaisse. Can you please repeat the meaning for me? It's a soup from southern France. I wish the person who take that soup doesn't ask the spelling. Anyways, well played. 15 points from this round. <laughs> Moving on to our last speller, Tamim. Let's start with you. Good yes, luck. Sir. Tamim, the first word is alliteration. Alliteration, it means the use of the same letter or sound at the beginning of words that are close together. The word is alliteration. Alliteration is the word. Is it A-L-I-T-E-R-A-T-I-O-N, alliteration? Very close but incorrect. The correct spelling is A-L-L-I-T-E-R-A-T-I-O-N, alliteration. Oh, that reminds me. Betty bought some butter, but the butter was bitter, so Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better, right? Yep. All right. Moving on for the next word. Tamim, the second word is prosaic. Prosaic, and it means ordinary and not showing any imagination. The word is prosaic. Is it P-R-O-S-A-I-C, prosaic? That is correct. Testing points for you. The third word is camembert. Camembert, and it means a type of soft French cheese with a strong flavor. The word is camembert. Is it C A M E M B E R B U R camembert? That is not correct. The correct spelling is C A M E M B E R T camembert. 
All right, two more words left. Go for the next one. Good luck. The fourth word is Balil. Balil, and it means pertaining to bathing or relating to baths. The word is Balil. Is it B A L N E A L? Balil. That is correct. Good job. 15 points. The final word is Picado. Picado. And it means a person on a horseback. The word is picado. P I C C A D O, picado. That is not correct. The correct spelling is P I C A D O R, picado. All right, you got your 30 points from this round, Tamim. And that brings us to the end of our first round. Viewers, আমাদের এই রাউন্ডে যে সকল শব্দ ব্যবহার করা হয়েছে আপনারাও শব্দগুলো চেষ্টা করে জিতে নিতে পারেন আকর্ষণীয় পুরস্কার কারণ স্পেলিং বি এখন সবার জন্য গ্রুপের সৌজন্যে আপনাদের অ্যান্ড্রয়েড ফোনে গুগল প্লে স্টোর থেকে ডাউনলোড করে নিন আমাদের চ্যাম্পস টোয়েন্টি ওয়ান অ্যাপ এবং খেলতে থাকুন স্পেল চ্যাম্পস গেমটি যত ইচ্ছে ততবার সিজন শেষে আপনাদের মধ্য থেকে টপ থার্টি স্কোরার্স পেতে যাচ্ছেন আকর্ষণীয় পুরস্কার গ্রুপের সৌজন্যে ইটস টাইম ফর আ শর্ট চ্যাম্পস টোয়েন্টি ওয়ান ব্রেক প্লিজ ডোন্ট গো এনিওয়ার বিকজ আফটার দ্য ব্রেক দেয়ার আর টু মোর রাউন্ডস ওয়েটিং You are watching the quarterfinals for the fourth season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee and Lightened by Summit brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Bloop. Before we go, we have to the round of the first round. Let's see the first round of the first round. Zarif at 45 points. Lamia leading with 60 points. Famid at 15 points. Tamim at 30 points. Now get ready for the second round, which is Spell Hive. As you know, in Spell Hive, you'll have to crack five words. The first word is a four letter word. You just have to add one more letter as you go down the hive. We will give you the first letter of the first word. You can ask for a clue, which will be the last letter of the first word. In that case, you'll play the hive for 45 points instead of 50. Total time, 90 seconds. So take your time, look at the meanings carefully, and all the very best. We'll start with you, Zarif. Zarif, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter G. The first word means feeling pleasure or happiness. The second word means an open space in a wood or forest. The third word means hang or swing loosely. The fourth word means placed or arranged in a straight line. And the last word means making someone or something late or slow. And your time starts now. The first word means feeling pleasure or happiness. Can I have the clue, please? It is a D. The last letter. The first, the first one is glad. G L A D. That is correct. Five points. The third one is dangle. D A N G L E. That too is correct. Ten more points. You have more than a minute, so take your time. How about the fourth word, which means placed or arranged in a straight line? Letter to the first or the third, you'll get the next. How about the fifth word, which, which means make someone late or slow? Half a minute left. Anything coming up in your mind? Try the fourth word, which means placed or arranged in a straight line. Last 10 seconds. Make a guess, anything? Last word, look at the last word. And your time's up. Zarif, the second word was glade, G-L-A-D-E. The fourth word was aligned, A-L-I-G-N-E-D. And the last word was delaying, D-E-L-A-Y-I-N-G. Delaying. Uh oh. Anyways, not a bad job. 15 points from this round. All right. 
Moving on to Lamia. Lamia still leading. Let's see what happens after this round. Hopefully it will be best. Good luck. Lamia, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter H. The first word means a mass of fine threads that grows in the head. The second word means a piece of furniture for one person to sit on. The third word means a substance that has non-superimposable mirror image. The fourth word means a silly person. And the last word means relating to heraldry and your time starts now. The first word is hair, H-A-I-R. That is correct. The second word is chair, C-H-A-I-R. That too is correct. You have more than a minute, so take your time. The fifth word means relating to heraldry. Anyone you can try, third, fourth or fifth. The third word means a substance that has non-superimposable mirror image. Half a minute left. Try the fifth one, which means relating to heraldry. Last 10 seconds. Give a try. No problem. Give a try. Give a Is try. Is the last word her heraldric? H E R A L D R I C? That is not correct. Okay, and your time's up. Lamia, the third word was chiral. C H I R A L. The fourth word was Charlie. C H A R L I E. And the last word was heraldic, not heraldric. And it's spelled H E R A L D I C. Harold Dick. All right. Well, try 20 points from this round, Namia. <laughs> Moving on to our next color, Fahmid. Let's start with your one. Good luck. Fahmid, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter G. The first word means used to express surprise. The second word means the spirit of a dead person. The third word means to have looked for something or somebody. The fourth word means the bullets that are fired from a gun. And the last word means not searched for or requested. And your time starts now. Do you need the clue? The first word means used to express surprise. Better give us a word. Okay, can I have the clue? It is an H. The last letter of the first word is an H. Try anyway. Is it Gosh? G O S H? Gosh? That is correct. Five points, move on. Is the second word ghost? G H O S T. Ghost. That too is correct. The third word means to have looked for something or somebody. Half a minute left. Anyone? Third, fourth, or fifth? Any word? Give try, a try. Try the fourth word, which means the bullets that are fired from a gun. Last five seconds. Give a try. Make a guess. Anything. Make a guess. And your time's up. Fami, the third word was sought, S-O-U-G-H-T. The fourth word was gunshot, G-U-N-S-H-O-T. And the last word was unsought, U-N-S-O-U-G-H-T. Unsought. Ah, oh, tough luck. But anyways, 15 points from this round. <laughs> Moving on to our last speller, Tamim. Why are you looking nervous? It's okay. Don't worry, okay? You'll do good. Okay, take a deep breath. Good. All the best. Tamim, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with the letter A. The first word means the smallest component of an element. 
The second word means minute pores in the epidermis of a leaf or stem. The third word means a good luck symbol, especially for a team. The fourth word means relating to the body, especially as distinct from the mind. And the last word means characteristic of monks, nuns and their way of life. And your time starts now. The first word is atom, A-T-O-M. That is correct. Ten points, go on. The second word is stoma, S-T-O-M-A. That is correct. Very good going, move on. The third word means a good luck symbol, especially for a team. The third word is mascot, M-A-S-C-O-T, mascot. That is correct. Fantastic. Last two words and a minute to go, so enough time. The fourth word means relating to the body, especially as distinct from the mind. Or you can try the fifth word. The fifth word means characteristic of monks, nuns or their way of life. Half a minute left. Again, the fifth word means characteristic of monks, nuns, and their way of life. You better give us a word. Last 10 seconds. Make a guess. Whatever. The last word is M O N A R C H Y, monarchy. That is not correct. Oh, go for the fourth. Oh, time's up. Okay, let's see. Tamim, the fourth word was somatic, S-O-M-A-T-I-C. And the last word was monastic, M-O-N-A-S-T-I-C, monastic. Well tried. 30 points from this round. And that brings us to the end of our second round. Now get ready for the third round, which is spell ring. Quarter final is spell ring, another additional round. Now, take a look at the rules. In spell rings, we will give you letters in a ring where you have to form five words. Four small words containing minimum four letters and one long word containing all the nine letters. Now, make sure your four words include the central letter, all right? Total, you'll get 30 points, five for each smaller one and 10 for the longer one. And time, 45 seconds. So, all the best. We'll start with you, Zarif. Zarif, the ring is on your screen. And the central letter is an E. The first one is tear, T-E-A-R, tear. Move on. The next one is gear, G-E-A-R, gear. Very good, go on. The next one is dear, D-E-A-R, dear. One more. And the last one is D-E-E-R, dear. Go for the longer one. Ten seconds left. Give a try. Is Give the a tangented T-A-N-G-E-N-T-E-D? That is not correct. All right. And time's up. Can we check whether the words he said right or wrong? Zarif, the first word you said was tear, T-E-A-R. That is correct. The second word you said was gear, G-E-A-R. That is correct. The third word you said was dear, D-E-A-R. And the fourth word you said was D-E-E-R. Dear, both the words are correct. But you couldn't get the longer word, which is generated, G-E-N-E-R-A-T-E-D, generated. But you could generate for correct words, so well done. 20 points from this round. Moving on to Lamia. Ready to go? Yes. All the best. Lamia, the ring is on your screen. And the central letter is an I. The first word is side, S-I-D-E. The Move second on. word is T-I-D-E, tied. Two more. Keep trying. D E A L D U. One more. T O L L. Toll. Go for the longer one.
Last 10 seconds. Want to give it a Oscillated. Try? Spell. O S C I L L A T E D. Oscillated. Okay, your time's up. Let's see. Lamia, the first word you said was side, S I D E. That is correct. The second word you said was tide, T I D E. That too is correct. The third word you said was deal, D E A L. And the fourth word you said was tall, T A L L. Neither of the last two words contains the central letter I, so we cannot take it. You could have said list, L I S T, or disc, D I S C, disc. The long word which you missed was dislocate, D I S L O C A T E, dislocate. All right, well tried. You have earned your 10 points from this round, Lamia. <laughs> Moving on to Fahmid. Let's go for your one. Good luck. Fahmid, the ring is on your screen. And the central letter is an A. Okay. You better start giving words. Mm, L-A-N-D land. Moving on. Hmm? S-A-N-D sand. Two more. L A R D lard. One more. Last ten seconds. G R A S S grass. Go for the longer one. Is Quickly. the longer one grassland? G R. A S S L A N D, grassland. All right, let's find out whether the words you have said are correct or incorrect. Let's find out. Fahmid, the first word you said was land, L A N D. The second word you said was sand, S A N D. The third word you said was lard, which means a type of fat used in cooking. And you spelled it right, L A R D. And the fourth word was grass, G R A S S. All four words are correct. And the long word which you said was grassland, and you spelled it G R A S S L A N D. That too is correct. Whoa, that's like scaling the summit. 30 points from this round. Very well played. All right, Tamim, now you get ready to set the bar there as well. Okay, yeah. all the best. Tamim, the ring is on your screen. And the central letter is an I. The first word is L-I-S-T, list. Move on. The second word is G-I-S-T, gist. One, two more. The next word is S-I-T-E, site. One more. How many have I said? Four, 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 four. One more. One more smaller one. Quickly. Or you can go for the longer one, whichever. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know. the la the ne the another word. Have I said all the short words? Ah, I'm sorry, the time's up. Okay, okay, let's find out. Tamim, the first word you said was list, L-I-S-T. The second word you said was gist, G-I-S-T. The third word you said was site, S-I-T-E. All three of them are correct. You could have also said sing, S-I-N-G. And the longer word which you didn't get was enlisting, E-N-L-I-S-T-I-N-G, enlisting. Tough luck, but 15 points from this round. Well done. And that brings us to the end of our third round. Viewers, it's time to go for a short Champs21 break. Champs21.com is an e-learning portal that serves articles on academic and non-academic content for students, teachers, and parents. Do visit Champs21.com. We're going for a short Champs21 break. Don't go anywhere. Join us after the break. You are watching the quarterfinal of the fourth season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, enlightened by Summit, brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Bloop. Viewers, Jati Gaur and Ashul Karigar Hutsin Shikhok, and Summit salutes the nation builders. Apna der pathano, Shikhok der niye prochur likha sruti charo naun de kache jama pura chhe Champs21.com e. Amra achke tamoni ekjon guni nishthavan Shikhok shampor ke janbo. Chulun dekhne. Let's go.
স্কুলটা তো আমি নিজেই করেছি এখন যে স্কুলে আছি উদ্দীপন বিদ্যালয় এগারো বছর হয়ে গেছে আমি মনের মতো করে করেছি এবং আমার খুবই ভালো লাগে আমার যতক্ষণ সময় আমি স্কুলে থাকি আমি আমার মনে হয় যে আমি স্বর্গে আছি ওখানে ছেলে মেয়েদের চিৎকার খেলাধুলা এগুলোতে অনেক শব্দ হয় অনেক দুষ্টুমি করে কিন্তু আমি প্রত্যেকটা জিনিস ওদের দুষ্টুমি ওদের এই চিৎকার আমি উপভোগ করি আমার খুব আনন্দ হয় আমার এক ছাত্র এসে আমাকে সে খুব ছোট কেজি ওয়ানে পড়ে সে আমাকে খুব বড় একটা অভিযোগ করলো আমার বিরুদ্ধে আমাকে বলল যে বড় আপা তুমি খুব খারাপ তো আমি বললাম যে তাই তো কী কাজ কী করলাম আমি তোমার কাছে কী দোষ করলাম তখন সে বললো তুমি কেন শুক্র শনি স্কুলটা বন্ধ রাখো তো আমি বললাম যে তুমি পাঁচ দিন স্কুল করবে তোমরা এত পরে ক্লান্ত হয়ে যাবে সেই জন্যই তো শুক্র শনি বন্ধ রাখি যে আবার নতুন করে আবার ফ্রেশ ট্রেস হয়ে রোববার ক্লাস শুরু করবে বলে না আমার স্কুলটা ভালো লাগে তুমি স্কুলটা আমার আমাদের জন্য শুক্র শনিবার খোলা রাখবে এটা খুব আমার খুব আনন্দ পেলাম যে তারা স্কুলকে কত ভালোবাসে যে শুক্র শনিবারে থাকতে চায় এটা মনে হলো যে আমি স্বার্থ Along with Summit, we also salute the nation builders. Moving on to our speller scores after the third round. Zarif at 80 points. <laughs> Lamia at 90 points. <laughs> Fami at 60 points. <laughs> and Thamim at 75 points. <laughs> now get ready for the fourth and final round, which is Spell Buzz. In Spell Buzz, we'll be giving you six buzzwords. Two clues for each. First clue will have the number of letters in the word along with the first letter of the word and the English meaning. The second clue will have all the letters in a jumble manner. Now, this is a buzzer round. Whoever presses the buzzer first will get the chance to answer first. Listen to me carefully. If you press the buzzer after the first clue and give us the correct answer, plus 10. If it is incorrect, minus five, and you lose the chance to participate after the second clue. If you press the buzzer after the second clue and give us the correct answer, five points. If it is incorrect, minus five. So please be sure that you know the spelling before you press the buzzer, all right? And this round is going to be the decisive one. After this round, we are going to find out who amongst you will join the semi-final, all right? All the very best. Let's start Spell Buzz. Spellers, the first buzz word is an eight-letter word. It starts with the letter P, and it means a flat part at the side of a road for people to walk on. Okay, it is Zarif. Uh, pavement, P-A-V-E-M-E-N-T, pavement. That is correct. 10 points for you. <laughs> Moving on. The second buzz word is a nine-letter word. It starts with the letter N, and it means a description of events that is spoken during a film or a movie. Ah, oh, time off. So we'll have to go for the second clue and you'll play for five points. Get ready, everyone. The second clue is on your screen. Okay. Narration. N-A-R-R-A-T-I-O-N. Narration. That is correct. Five points for you, Zarif. The third buzz word is an 11-letter word and it starts with the letter O. The word means the act of watching somebody carefully for a... Okay, that's Zarif. Observation. O-B-S-E-R-V-A-T-I-O-N. Observation. That is correct. Brilliant. Ten points. <laughs> Moving on for the fourth buzz word. The fourth buzz word is a 10-letter word. It starts with the letter M and it means an official who acts as a judge in the lowest court... Okay, that's Samim. Is it mandate, M-A-N-D-A-T-E, mandate? That is not correct. Oops, minus five, Tamim. And you can't participate after the second clue. Get ready for the second clue, rest three of you. The second clue is on your screen. Okay, Lamia. It's magistrate, M-A-G-I-S-T-R-A-T-E, magistrate. 
That is correct. There you get your five points, Lamia. The fifth buzzword is an eight-letter word. It starts with the letter A, and it means a willingness to take bold risks. Time's up. Moving on for the second clue. You'll play for five points. Get ready. The second clue is on your screen. Love the you. word is audacity. A U D A C I T Y. That is correct. Five points for you. Moving on. The last buzzword is a nine-letter word. It starts with the letter P, and it means. Having or showing the capacity to develop into something in the future. And that's Tamim. Is it potential? P O T E N T I A L. That is correct. 10 points for you, Tamim. And that brings us to the end of the final round. Let's take a look at your final scores. All right, Fahmid at 60 points. Well tried, Fahmid. After that, Tamim with a wonderful performance, 80 points. Good job. And now the top two scorers from today's episode. Lamia with 100 points. Well done. And Zarif with 105 points. Very good. Congratulations. And thanks to Fahmid and Tamim for being a part of the show. Thank you. আমাদের আজকের কোয়ার্টার ফাইনাল থেকে আমরা পেয়ে গেছি দুজন সেমিফাইনালিস্টকে লামিয়া ফ্রম ফেনি গার্লস ক্যাডেট কলেজ এন্ড জারি ফ্রম এবিসি ইন্টারন্যাশনাল স্কুল নারায়ণগঞ্জ কনগ্রাচুলেশন अभिभावकुबाई